If you want to create abundance in your dating life, you have to master this skill, okay? And this skill is the ability to create emotions and feelings through your communication. But not random emotion and, feel, and, and feelings, the emotions and feelings you want to create. So here's what I mean. When you approach a woman, instead of thinking, okay, what do I say, what do I do? Ask yourself, what do you want her to feel? Right? Do you want her to feel interest? interest? Right? Because that's what I go for. Right? Because attraction, essentially, there's different levels of attraction, right? But attraction is essentially interest, right? So you want a girl to feel interest. So when I approach a girl, I'm going to communicate in a way that will create this, this feeling within her where she's like, oh, this is interesting. That's what I want. So my beingness, my character, my communication is customized to get that effect. You see what I'm saying? I don't want to walk up to her. I don't want to uh, her to feel, who the fuck is this guy? Get away from me. I don't want her to feel that. Feelings of like repel, like get away, like ew. I don't want her to feel that. So before I approach the woman, I got to ask myself, how can I approach her in a way that's going to create the feeling of interest? Right? So you got to start there. You got to ask yourself, when I approach a woman, what, what feeling am I creating within her? Right? Because it's, she's not worried about, it's not about what you say. It's not about what you do. It's the feeling that what you say and what you do creates within the girl. You got to start thinking like that. Like thinking in, in terms of feelings and emotions throughout your communication. Not in terms of what you think would be cool to say or what you think would be cool to do. It's no is what is the emotion or the feeling you want to create. And once you have an understanding of that, then you can approach her from that place. Right? So, for example, as I said, when I approach a woman, I want her to feel interest. Right? Depending on the situation, I may change the, the, the emotion that I want her to feel. Maybe sometimes I, you know, I'm like, I want her to feel excited. So, I'll, I'll approach her in a way that would make her feel excited. Now, how do you do that? If you want to create an emotion in someone else, first you have to be able to create that emotion within yourself, right? So if you want her, you want her to feel interest when you approach her, first you have to feel like you are interesting. You see what I'm saying? If you want her to feel excitement, you have to feel like you are exciting. Right? Because you're transferring energy, you're transferring the emotion. And that's the skill you want to develop here. Right? That's why you never hear me say, oh, this, if you want to get the girl, just go and say this. Or if you want to get the girl, you just go and do it. Because no, it's about the feeling that you're going to create. It's about the emotion you're going to create. Right? So maybe I maybe if you say something a certain way and I say the same exact thing, if I have the understanding of what I say. I'm only saying it because I want to create a certain emotion or feeling, but you don't have that understanding. You may just say the line and, and she, you may create like a weird, uh, an emotion that, you know, repels her or makes her think you're stupid or makes her feel bored or whatever. And then she's rejecting you because of the feeling that you created within her. Whereas I have this understanding, there's a certain feeling I want to create within her. So I'm going to communicate from that place, right? So if the line is, let's say, you know, you say, oh, can you pick up this girl by asking her for the time, right? I may go up to her and I may say, instead of just saying, excuse me, excuse me do you know what the time is? I might say, excuse me, do you know what time it is? Right? Why would I say it like that? Because that's interesting. She's going to be like, what? Who is this dude? Why is he smiling? Why is he asking me for the time like that? Why does he already have a watch on? Like what? Like that's interesting, right? Because I said the feeling I want to create is interest, right? So it's like you got to understand what is the feeling you want to create when you're communicating to people in general, right? But we're talking about women. In regards to the woman, it's like 
You got to get good at creating feelings, man. You got to be good at creating emotions. That's why you have to have emotional control. That's why I say grounded masculinity. You have to be in control of yourself. You have to be able to create emotions within yourself. Like if I want a girl to have a good time with me, I have to be having a good time. Right? If I want a girl to be serious, I want to have a serious conversation, I have to be serious. Right? You have to feel the emotion you want to create and you have to be grounded in it. What does that mean? If she reacts to you in a way that sh might say, oh, she's not feeling that emotion, you can't break and then all of a sudden say, oh, shit, it didn't work. Oh, my goodness. What do I do now? Now you just lost, bro. You got to hold your frame. You got to hold that emotion and don't be reactive. Be proactive because your mindset is this is the vibe I'm putting out. And this is what I want to attract, right? So if you don't attract the girl off of that emotion, then don't bend, don't break. That just means she's not getting it, right? Or she's not feeling it. Maybe you could stay in a little longer, see if you can keep, you know, communicating and see if you could transfer that energy. But if it's not going, then that's not the girl for you. You know, there's another girl right, right around the corner, right? It's not like every time, it's not like I say, okay, I want the girl to feel interest. And every time I approach a girl, she feels interest. No, some girls are just not interested, bro. You know, for whatever reason, maybe there's just some shit she got going on in her life. Maybe she's busy. Maybe I'm just not her type. Maybe, you know what I mean? The communication didn't come across, across strong enough, right? There's so many factors that play into it. But the point is, if you get good at this skill, you will see the difference. You will notice the difference in how people respond to you when you start. Matter of fact, try this out. Try this out. Like, instead, before you communicate, ask yourself, what do I want this person to feel when I communicate? What emotion do I want to transfer to this person? Right? Do I want them to feel excited? Do I want them to feel joyful? Do I want them to feel calm, relaxed? Do I want them to feel comfort? Right? Sometimes I approach a girl and she may be interested or whatever, but she might be a little uncomfortable. So then I have to kind of bring back the energy a little bit and chill out for a little bit and make her feel comfortable. Like, oh, this guy ain't crazy, right? You have to be sensitive to the moment, sensitive, sensitive to the emotions, to the vibes, right? Right? That That's part of the game too. You have to be able to calibrate. You have to apply your intelligence. But in order to do that, the whole grounded masculinity thing, you have to be in your body. You have to be present to the moment because if you're stuck in your head, you can't really calibrate you can't really feel out the emotions and the feelings of the situation right you can't feel out the vibe because while all it is is you got to create a vibe you got to create a vibe that she wants to be around you see what i'm saying so you got to understand your environment you got to understand the social situation the different people in the environment who might come into the conversation who might not right it's a game you got to have fun with it you know, the, the social socializing is a game. It's like a fun game, you want, but you got to have an understanding. Social intelligence, right? But I'm giving you like a, 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 I don't know if it's really a secret or it, maybe it is. Maybe, maybe people don't really get this. But when you communicate, people ain't worried about what you're saying and what you're doing. They're worried about how you make them feel with what you say and what you do, right? Like... <clears throat> There's a way to, to say to someone, man, fuck you, bruh. And then you could also say, man, fuck you, right? It's two di that's going to create two different feelings. It's the same, right? It's the same phrase. It's the same comment. But there's, you know, there's different energy behind it, right? So I'm aware of this. When I'm communicating to a woman, I'm aware, okay, what is the... And that's why you got to practice. So you got to see what works. You got to see... It works because you may have an idea of, oh, if I communicate in this way, it's going to create a certain emotion, but then you might try it out and it doesn't work. So you say, okay, let me try it a couple of times because you don't want to just do it one time and, and come to a conclusion off of one time. Do it a couple of times and see. To try it on a couple of different girls and if you and it's not working, that means it don't work. Try something different, right? Or maybe, maybe uh, you know, um, shift the communication a little bit. Maybe add a different flavor to it, right? Maybe add a different vibe to it, a different uh, body language to it, a different tonality, right? This is this is the game. This is this is a skill. That's what I'm saying. It's a skill. You want to get skilled at this this art of picking up women, this art of attracting women. Because once you get skilled at it, it's no longer a problem. You see, when you're relying on hope and luck and shit like that, then it's like, you know, 
you don't know when you, you can't have predictability. You can't have consistency in, in what's going on, right? That's what you want. You want predictability. You want consistency. You want to be able to consistently get women. So you don't have to worry about that shit no more, right? Once you, when you can consistently do something, like get predictable results, you have certainty. You can relax. You can chill out, right? Like if you approach a woman and you know that you can get women, you're going to be a lot more relaxed, a lot more chill than the guy who's like hoping and praying that the girl's going to like him because he has no skill. You got to develop skill and skill is by practice, repetition, doing something consistently over a period of time and gradually progression, right? The reason I understand this idea of developing skills so well is because the first dream I had in life as a kid was to play in the NBA. That was the first dream I had. I wanted to play basketball. And so at a young age, I learned the importance of developing a skill. Obviously, I didn't know that that's what I was doing, but every day, every day I dribble my basketball, every day I shoot my basketball, every day. And I got good. Like I was a little kid that was able to beat the other kids in basketball. I remember that shit. You know, the other kid, because I used to practice every day, man. I made it a priority. It was something that, you know, that meant something to me. Right? So dribbling the basketball every day, shooting the basketball. Right? In high school, middle school, I, didn't, I wasn't getting no results with women. So when I got out of high school, I said, yo, I need to develop a skill or some skills in regards to my dating life, in regards to dealing with women, approaching women, picking up women. Right? I started a couple businesses, right? When I just started... In the beginning, you know, I ain't had no skills, so I was losing money and I was losing time and I was making mistakes and shit. But I keep, I kept applying myself and I developed some skills, man. I learned how to find a profitable niche. I learned how to find a, a, a profitable product to sell. I learned how to market. I learned sales. I learned how to build a website, how to set up a sales funnel. I learned email marketing, list bit. Like I developed some skills, man. I developed some skills and then I started getting results, started making money, started getting customers, started getting clients, right? I applied this understanding of developing skills in the areas where I want to achieve certain results. That's it. Just applying, you're applying yourself consistently so you can develop these skills, man. And when you develop these skills, nobody can take it away from you because you earned your skill. You paid your dues. You put in your work. You put in your time, bro. That's what gives you confidence, right? That's what gives you confidence because you don't you don't went through some experiences. <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't put your time in. You don't. You was disciplined, right? You you had self belief. You had faith in yourself, right? Because you don't know when the skill is gonna come. That's the thing. When you start applying yourself and start trying to develop a skill. You don't know when the skill is going to be developed. It's just going to happen when the time is right. So you got to have patience, bro. You got to have patience. You got to have focus. You got to have discipline. You got to believe in yourself. You got to believe that if you stay the course, the results will come, right? You will create the reality you want to create. So this, this master skill, this skill that you want to master, bro, is this ability to create emotions and feelings within women. If you want a girl to get turned on, you got to get turned on. But you got to learn how to communicate that in a calibrated way so you don't seem creepy. Right? You got to show some control. Right? You don't want to be out of control. You don't want to show her that, oh, I'm just being reactive here. No, you got to be proactive. Because you got to be grinding. You got to be able to turn up, turn up the heat and lower the heat when necessary. Right? You got to be able to speak slow. You know what I mean? Just speak slow with her. Speak soft and slow. And then speed it up. When the time is right, you got to speed it up. And then bring it back. Bring it back. Right? You got to be able to play like a um, like an instrument. The instrument doesn't go dang, 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 dang. No. Right? It's a vibe. It's a melody. It's a, you know, it's music. Right? It's flavors. Right? When you get when you get a meal, you know what I mean? It's nice when you when you got a meal, you got different different parts of the meal, you know? You got the, the spaghetti and you got the, the the sauce and then you got the, the shrimp, right? And then you got the dessert and then you got the juice. What if everything was the same flavor? That'd be whack. 
right? You got different flavors. It's a vibe, bro. So <clears throat> when you communicate to a woman, it's like first when you approach her, ask yourself, what's the feeling that you want to create? And then you have to understand, like, okay, you can't. It can't just be one feeling. Like you got to create these other feelings within the interaction, because you want you want to take her on experience, right? But the thing is, you're go, you're on the experience too, because as I said, in order to create feelings in her, you have to be able to create feelings in yourself. That's why you have to master yourself as a man. Like you got to understand yourself. You got to master your emotions. And you get to this place of mastering your emotions by practicing, right? The way I do it. It's through discipline, right? I chew, I basically train my mind, I train my body to understand that I am in control, right? Because your body and your mind tries to take control. It tries to steer you in certain direct, directions, right? Sometimes your body is is uh is telling you, oh, just just eat that cookie or eat that thing when you know you're not supposed to. Those are the times where you you demonstrate your discipline. Where you tell your, your, your mind and your body, I am in control. We're not eating the cookie right now. Or we're not going to do the thing right now or whatever. Or your, your, your mind and your body is trying to get you to procrastinate on some shit or hesitate. And you got that's, those are the times where you apply your discipline. You apply your willpower. You apply your, your motivation, your why, right? Having the why, having a purpose, a goal. When, you approach, when, you're, when it comes to approaching women, you got to have a goal, right? My goal when I just started picking up women was I wanted a girlfriend. Right. So I stuck to that goal. Like anytime something wouldn't go my way or things weren't working or whatever, I just remember, yo, this is my goal. I'm not going to stop until I hit my goal. I'm not going to stop until I hit my goal. Right. You got to believe in yourself and believe in your goal. Right. And just know it's a skill that you got to develop. You can achieve that goal. You just got to develop the skills, man. That's what I have. I have skills. Right. If I don't, if you take away my skills, then. And I'm, you know, I have to rely on luck now. And I just have to hope some shit happens. Right? But when you have skill, you have confidence. Because you know, without a shadow of a doubt, that you can create certain results. Like, when you get good at basketball, you know you can dribble the basketball. You know if you shoot ten shots, you're going to make seven or eight or whatever. Right? Because you develop skill. Right? So that's what you want. You want this skill. Um, specifically, we're talking about the, the ability to create emotions and feelings in people. You have to work on your communication. You gotta work on your body language, right? You gotta work on your style, right? All these things play a part. Your style, how you look, how you sound, right? How you move, all of this plays a part, bro. And I'm, I was smart enough to know, yo, I can take responsibility and, and you know, change things or rearrange things or apply things a certain way to create a certain character, a certain beingness that creates a certain effect in the world, right? Like if I, you know, don't, you know, stop working out, stop eating right, um, stop reading, stop studying, you know, stop talking to people. I just live in my, stay in my house all day. Like, I'll turn into, like, a, a just, like, a weird loner, right? And that's not going to be as attractive as the guy who's actually doing this shit, right? Of course not. Right? So, it's like, I'm not, I'm not telling anyone there's some, like, secret overnight thing you can do to get women. I'm telling you to develop some skills that you can rely on that you, so you can demonstrate your value. That's what determines your values, your skills, man. What can you, what do you bring to the table? What makes you different from the next man, right? And the thing is, it's not that hard to stand out. Like if you can just become grounded in your masculinity, because there's so many guys that are like, what do they call it, simps? So many simps out there. There's so many uh, beta males, guys that are just not in their masculinity, feminine dudes, like super insecure have women on a pedestal, worshiping women and all type of weird shit, buying, paying for OnlyFans, you know, watching porn every night. Like, that's the comp that's your competition, bro. You you telling me you can't, of course you could beat that, bro. You work on your grounded masculinity, bro. You work on your authentic expression. You work on your leadership. Just these three qualities alone will set you apart. Because most guys don't have those qualities in as a as a combination, right? Like like when you have a mixture of 
nice qualities, attractive qualities, like that, that's how you, you know what I mean? That's how you get people's attention, right? Because it's like, whoa, he has a good mixture of qualities. Like, he's not just one thing. It's not just one thing that he has. Like, it's a combination. That's how you become irreplaceable, right? You got a combination of qualities that you've developed, that you were. That's what's great about being a man, is women are attracted to a man of strong character, right? A strong, interesting character, right? Can get women. A strong, interesting character. Think about that. How can you make yourself into a strong, interesting character? You ever watch a movie or, or read a comic book or play a video game? There's some characters in there that stand out. How can you be one of those characters in life, right? They're interesting, bro. They have an interesting look or interesting style, interesting communication, interesting personality, whatever, right? They're not trying to be like everybody else. They're not trying to fit in. They're not trying to follow what they say, what the, you know, um, what's it called? Uh, they're not complacent. They're not a, uh, there's a word I'm looking for here. Where is it? Let me see if I can get it. They're not conforming. There we go. You don't want to conform. You want to be that guy that's, <laughs> as cliche as this sounds, like outside of the box, man. That guy that when everyone goes left, he goes right. But but not for like a stupid reason. Like there's a reason he's going right. Because he's like, yo, this is my way. This is how I do it. I'm not trying to be like, yo, this is how I do. That's how you get the girl's attention. Because she's like, wait, who's he? Right? But you can't be doing it just to get the girl. See, that's where you fuck up. You got to be doing it because that's just who you are. Right? Because that's just what you love to do. Like, I watched this. I think I said this in another video, but I bring it up again. I watched this video the other day of this nerd. You know, he wasn't getting no girls or whatever. He was nerdy as fuck. Right? But he found a, um, like a nerd convention where they had uh, speed dating. And he went in the nerd convention, did the speed dating. And he was just being authentic, man. He was just expressing himself. He's like, yeah, I love this video game. I love this. Um, there's this one, you know, character. I love him. He's amazing. Blah, blah, blah. And the girl's like, yeah, I love him too, right? Because he found a place where his value, the things that he likes, his, you know, the qualities he has are admired in that, you know, in that niche, in that, that environment, right? There's other nerds. The girls are nerds, right? And they were cute. Those are they were attractive girls. But they were nerdy too. And so when he was talking about the nerdy shit or whatever, they were like, oh my gosh, yeah, he's so great. Because he was expressing himself authentically. And he, to me, he was in his masculine, right? Because he felt comfortable in the, in the environment, right? Because he, he was in his place. He was in his zone. He was in a place where he was celebrated, right? Because he, he brought value, right? He could, he could hold a conversation about topics that the girls like to hear about. And guess what? He's creating a feeling. He's creating the right feeling. They're, they're feeling good. They're like, wow, this is exciting, right? He actually loves what I, he loves the same thing that I love and he can express himself and he can communicate and he's, you know what I mean? And he's just grounded in what he's saying, right? So they're getting turned on. You can see it in their facial expression. Like they look happy. They look like they're glad to be in his presence. Like that's what you want. Like Pay attention to the girl's body language. Like, look at her face. Like, does she look like she's enjoying the conversation or not? If not, some you got some work to do, right? But don't just go off with one girl. Like, talk to a couple girls. That's why, like, I got I got good at picking up women because I went out and talked to a lot of girls. So I got a lot of reference experiences so I can see, you know, I didn't just go talk to one girl and I don't get her number and then I say, oh, this shit don't work. No, I went and talked to a lot of girls, man. Like, thousands of girls. And I'm not saying you have to do that much because I didn't I didn't have a process. I didn't have a system. I didn't have any guidance, right? I just knew I wanted a girlfriend. I was willing to do whatever it takes, right? And I I did read some stuff on online and stuff, but I wasn't like I wasn't really trying to sit there all day and read shit and watch shit. I was like, yo, I need I need to go and take some action, bro. So I would go out and try different shit, man. Until I found what works for me. You gotta find what works for you. There's a certain way of being this, there's a certain version yourself that's why i call it the sexy beast there's a beast inside you that if he comes out bruh your dating life will be handled because there's a sexy version of you that's like you know he's chained up inside you and he's chained up because you you haven't fully tapped into your potential you see what i'm saying maybe there's some skills you need to develop
Maybe you need to bring up your grounded masculinity. Maybe you're not expressing yourself authentically enough. Maybe you're not leading. Maybe you're following and you're chasing and you're doing weird shit. Like you're not setting the right frame. You're not showing that you are a man of purpose, a man who has goals, a man who's focused, confident, believes in himself, right? So that's it, man. The, the, the key thing I want to leave with you is learn or develop this skill of being able to create emotions and feelings through your communication, the way you speak, the way you move, the, your character design, your archetype, your style, all these things um, play a part, are important in, in the impact you'll have in the world and with women, right? So look, if you're watching this and you're like, okay, I, I get what you're saying, Trey, but like, can you help me? Can you give me some guidance, right? I have a program, it's called the Sexy Beast Program where we'd be working together and I'd be helping you to develop these skills so you can handle your dating life once and for all. How to bring up your grounded masculinity, how to become uh, more expressive authentically and how to lead women, right? And the once you have these qualities, all areas of your life get better, right? Like that's, that's one thing I want you to understand. Like it's not just about the women, all areas of your life get better. You become more confident. Imagine if, imagine if you were five times more confident, what would happen? right? You'd make more money, right? You, you, the relationships with people would get better. Your life would get better. You'd be more focused, right? You'd experience better emotions. You'd experience emotions of peace, of love, of joy, of gratitude, right? So let me know. It's a, it's a three-month program. We'd be working together one-on-one. -on -one. I'd be giving you specific action steps to take each day, and we're going to build up these qualities, man. Your grounded masculinity, your authentic expression, your leadership. We're going to focus in on a result, a goal. What is your goal? What is the result you want? I'm going to help you achieve that goal. If you're interested, let me know. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.